Okay, it's in the store. Hi! From the um, tech rabbit again. Yeah. I uh, thought we could do some more unboxing. This time I think we should look at um, some storage devices. And let's get into it. So here, I have some storage devices that I intend to use in the in the channel PC upgrade project. So I have. Um, I don't actually have any um, M2 um, onboard storage cards, so I'm not decided on. I'm not going to use those. It's mainly due to they're expensive, and if you're interested in further details, then you can look up my motherboard video. Um, it's it's a um, you know storage devices are basically mass product stuff nowadays. But I mean, if one, I think that if one stays with main brand um, solutions, I mean, in this case, I've um, taken um, Seagate and Samsung as, uh, as an example here uh, that I'm using. But I mean, uh, quite a few, yeah. You know, pretty much all the main brand um, types are are okay. Um, yep, yeah, so let's have a look. Um, I could start with some cable. Yeah, you need to have cables to connect, and, and both of these drives use a SATA interface, so um, you. You can get. You need to buy cables because they're not included in any of the kits that I buy. So you can either have with a straight connector, and it doesn't matter which end you connect to the hard drive and which end you connect to the motherboard, or you can. Um, and this is very good that you can have these which have a have a, a bent connector, and then uh, then you can choose which end you put on the motherboard and which end you put on the storage so device. But then sometimes you'll get into tricky situations where you have mechanical problems in positioning the cable. So it's it's um, good good to buy both. Um, it seems that some motherboards actually come with these cables. Uh, yeah, maybe we should have a look at. Um, and and usually what you want to do is you want to like have. Um, like a so-called main boot drive, the system drive, where you have the operating system and it boots from that. And usually the recommendation is the one should have a, an SSD. And um, in the, in this case, I've selected a um, 500 gigabyte SSD. Theoretically, 550 megabits per second read, 520 megabits per second write. But I mean, take into account that, that, of course, those speeds vary based on many different characteristics. And um, the read and write speeds can also change over time with SSDs. Um, there has been debates on the, on the, um, yeah, the longevity of the drives. So how long will they last, how many years? And that, of course, is very heavily dependent on how they're used. But I think that if one uses this as, as an OS, as a fast OS drive and a scratch drive, then I, I think in normal PC usage, since one usually upgrades the PC, the complete unit will be replaced in seven years, and probably you do an upgrade every like three years. So I think that I, yeah, I think if for a normal consumer, not running any business, but in heavy duty business applications, I think that um, it will. Be okay to um, ah, they put up a plastic tape on here. I think I'm actually gonna have to cut that with a knife. That was actually quite hard. Exacto knife instead. Plastic tape was not that easy to cut. They've been thinking. Ah. This unboxing doesn't seem to be that easy. Is that not the main the main opening the box? Yes. No. Oh, I think I'm gonna end up wrecking this box. <laughs> I don't know actually which end it seems like they're 
Or maybe they actually planned that you have to rip the box. Oh! Okay. It's done. It wasn't really 100% clear at what angle you should But anyway, here's the way it opens up, and then I have the Samsung manual. Which has also got this annoying tape on it. Look at that. Such hard type ones. Completely misleading the subject here. And that seems to be some kind of a paper plastic combination. Okay, so I'll make it difficult for the customer to open their manual. Maybe they don't want you to read the manual. Because <laughs> it's. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I, I, I doubt that the manual contains anything that's that useful, really. And this, I think, does not come with any drive copy software. But those you can also download or online, in some cases at least. So, anyway, okay, so here's the drive. So, not that impressive, really. It has the um, uh, power connector and then the SATA connector. So, the cable. A smaller cable goes in there, like that. I think I had it the right way around, or was it this way around? I'll have to show it this way around instead. Yeah, I like that. And plug it in. So, like that. Or you can use the twisted one, doesn't matter. So, so I think I'll just put it back into there, and then I will keep it like this until I install it. And I'll throw the manual away that I don't need. So, and this I already opened because I took some photos of. So, well, I mean, <laughs> I don't know if I need to talk very much about the mechanical. I mean, this is a yeah standard mechanical hard drive. You know, like don't drop it, which I have actually done once already. <laughs> um, yeah, few few words, getting very inexpensive. This is a two terabyte drive. Um, six gigabit per second SATA interface. Of course, it doesn't work that fast. 7,200 RPM. Lots of competitors in the same price um, size class uh, but this has one benefit this is the this is one of the special options so this has a actually a very big internal cache so it's 256 uh, megabytes of cache and um, uh, you could go for a hybrid where you have like part SSD and part um, standard hard drive but then I thought I would like to just keep it vanilla hard drive technologies I decided to not, not go with the hybrid version. Um, and as you see, the, the, there, there is no cables included, so make sure you get cables, or, or that you have cables available. Um, oh, I think that pretty much summarizes it. I mean, if one wants to get detailed benchmarks on these, then you can try and search for people that have done benchmarks, but oh, I think the one's relatively safe if one buys this category of a product that I don't think one really needs to do a lot of research on. I mean, stick with the main brand products and um, you know follow the general rule that you have an SSD and, and a standard hard drive. And actually the, here the prices have come down so much that I think a half a terabyte drive and half a terabyte SSD drive is now the recommendation for the OS drive. It used to be 128 and then it went to 256, but now most most site reviews, and I agree with that, and because of the cost, the cost reduction, then um, it's come down to that you can get a half a terabyte of SSD without going broke, and that's actually very nice. 
So those will be integrated into the upgrade project. Um, what else to say? Yeah, if you like this um, video, subscribe. If you want to get informed of um, new videos where I'm actually going to put these in a machine into a complete rebuild upgrade for the channel then um, follow up um, with the bell um yeah and um well i'll see you in the next one